Hi, I'm Toby Kaler, and I'm here to talk about the process communication model. We look at people as if they had six different personality types within them. So we don't categorize people because when we talk about these personality types, it's as if they were a six floor condominium and that we could visit each of these floors anytime we want to. Now, the value of that is in that we're saying, we're, we're not putting people in boxes. We're saying, oh, so you're saying, sometimes I am interested in talking about facts and information. Other times I may come from my heart sharing my feelings with you. Other times I might say what I like and what I don't like. Other times I might say, ah, I have an opinion about this. Values are important. My beliefs are important. Sometimes I just want to reflect upon things. Other times I'm action-oriented. Enough talk. Let's do something about this. We find it so interesting that we don't then negatively evaluate or box people in, but rather we appreciate individual differences. This lets us then do what? This lets, us, this lets us communicate with each person in their own perceptual language. We say perception because some people go to their thinking part, others go to their, go to their feeling part, others go to their likes and dislikes part, others go to their reflecting part, others go to their belief part and still others of us go to our action part frequently. What we find interesting is that it's just like a foreign language. Process precedes content. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you and I want to get across a message, whatever it is that we want to say to someone, that's the content. But my goodness, what if we start speaking a language that's foreign to the individual? Are we going to be effective? Probably not. And that's exactly what happens with PCM, speaking these perceptual languages. To somebody who wants facts, by golly, let's talk facts if we want them to hear what we're going to say. Other people who are caring and compassionate and interested in relationships, they may want us to speak the language of how do we feel about that. So we individualize literally interaction by interaction, keeping in mind what's important for the other person so that we can respect their individuality, we learn how to communicate with them, and imagine what that would be like then. If you're an educator and you want What's best for your student? You want your student to learn, to integrate the information. How do we go about that? If we know the single way that that student learns best and we talk that language and we address the student by that we move in order to do that, our energy, wow. Perhaps we'll have less conflict in schools. Perhaps we'll have less problems with some of the students not learning as quickly. How about in a relationship? A couple. Sometimes I feel so bad. Oh, oh honey, I love you with all my heart. I'm here for you. Now compare that to someone who didn't speak the language of feelings for whatever reason. I feel so bad. How long have you been feeling bad? Was it one o'clock or two o'clock? These are so subtle, but the implications for how we miscommunicate, even though we care, are so important to us in the process communication model. What about in business and organization? What's the intent of the manager, the supervisor? It's to help the employee become all that the employee can be and be as productive as the employee can be. By knowing the personality structure, by knowing, just by observing for a few minutes, that language, that perception, PCM will, will teach that supervisor, here's how you can invite that employee to be doing the best job he or she possibly can be. Instead of, perhaps, 
all the problems that we might run into when the employee is distressed. We are proud to say that we use PCM in business, in education, and we, there's a therapy form of the model as well. Most important and to me and to my heart is how we use it in parenting and in relationships. To put it very simply, it's, it's the mission we have. And our mission statement is significantly to enhance the quality of lives. And that's the intent of PCM.